My name is Joey Hand. I was one of the guys behind the wheel of the number 68 Ford GT, one of four Ford GT supercars that raced in the 24 hours of Le Mans. Ford made history winning it 50 years ago. Now we're back with a brand new car and a brand new team. Ford put everything they've got into this car and into this race. Years of work, technology, money, reputation. No pressure, right? Before the race, all the teams line up for the grid walk. Everybody knows we're here to make history. It started to rain just before the start of the race. It's slick and hard to see, so we start under a safety car to stay slow. The point is to get some of the water off the track before it goes green and things really heat up. When you come off the last chicane, you accelerate up through a tunnel of people. They're pressed up against each side of the straightaway. As I accelerate away from the pit box, I just want to get into a rhythm. One of the beautiful, iconic things about Le Mans is you always know when it's getting really dark because then the Ferris wheel lights up. It's one of my favorite things because you know people are watching from the best seat in the house. At this point in the race, Ferrari is first and three of our four GTs are right behind. The battle between Ford and Ferrari is playing out again. In the middle of the night, we were doing it out non-stop. It's 1966 all over again. We're driving 24 hours straight. The crew has to be here for 24 hours straight. Etzel Ford was hugely dedicated to this project and it showed by him standing side by side with the crew all through the night. In 24 hours, a lot can happen. We'll do as many as 26 stops. And if we're going to do more than just fuel and tires, we'll pull the car back in the garage because they can use unlimited crew members. We start the car back up, drop into first gear and take off. The middle of the night is quite an experience. It's super dark, you're going 200 miles an hour, and all you have is your own headlights to see the brake zone for this second chicane on the Molson Strait. At 
got a command center in the garage. They're watching live telemetry of what's going on in the car. A lot of times they'll know something and not even tell us so we can stay focused. It's always awesome to see the sun come up in a 24 hour race, but especially at Le Mans, because you know you've made it through the toughest part. It wasn't much later I passed the Ferrari for the lead with four hours to go. Aerodynamics on the GT were designed for just this moment, because the car drafts like crazy. So as I get close to the Ferrari, I just slingshot around it and watch it appear in my rear view camera. The green arrow tells me I'm pulling away from the Ferrari. Here we are about to win the biggest race on earth. My teammate Dirk Mueller is in the car after a great final stint, and we're making history again. I have chills thinking about all the hard work that went into this program and how amazing it feels to win the 24 hours of Le Mans. The reality sunk in as we walked out onto the podium as the winners in the GTE Pro class. Bill Ford and Etzel Ford were staying there with us, pretty awesome to share the stage with legends. So we did the only thing that made sense. We gave them a great champagne bath.